Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers and to Bishop James Dixon II, president of the Houston chapter of the NAACP. Bishop, always good to see you. Thank you for coming in this morning. To yeah, brother, it's a blessing to be with you anytime. I'll tell you, I appreciate that. I got a, you know, one of my fan club. You got to join. A minute. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, one of the focuses of the Houston chapter of the NAACP has been now this partnership with the South Texas College of Law on the clemency application for the soldiers of Camp Logan. Um, talk about how that came about. Well, uh, thank you for having us again. The NACP, uh, under our prior, the prior leadership of our Veterans Affairs Committee, uh, uh, Claude, uh, uh, Clyde Lemons, mm -hmm. have been pursuing this for some time. Uh, and, uh, cl you know, Clyde, being a veteran himself, uh, really dove into the atrocity of Camp Logan and how uh, atrocious history has been mm -hmm. as it relates to those uh, indicted and convicted uh, soldiers, uh, American soldiers. Uh, I, I want to say that they were black, but they were American soldiers who were wrongfully criminalized and their legacies forever tarnished. Uh, and to right that wrong, uh, the NACP has, had an ambitious effort uh, to do so. The, the, the partnership with South Texas School of Law came about because they're interested, mm -hmm. uh, as we are, in making sure from an academic perspective that we had the proper research. Uh, the proper data uh, that would drive the movement towards clemency. And so it's a natural partnership. In doing my research about this topic, the Camp Logan incident happened only nine years after the NAACP was founded. Mm -hmm. That pretty much gave the Houston chapter early on something to put their teeth into to really fight on behalf of uh, black citizens in Texas at that time. Without question, uh, this became the biggest uh, project, if you would, uh, an undertaking of the NACP, a young chapter, as you just stated, at that, at that time as well. Uh, but but it, it helped people to understand the necessity for having a civil rights organization like the NWCP that could come to the forefront uh, and fight for justice on behalf of the oppressed. And uh, it still fuels our efforts today. Uh, clearly, this uh, Camp Logan was an awful situation. It resulted in deaths of of people and someone who was a part of the Buffalo Soldiers. Somebody was responsible for that. I mean, we know that. Uh, but so, why do you think it is you feel that all of the soldiers? There's an effort to get all of the soldiers granted clemency when we know somebody within that group had to be responsible for what happened. Well, I, I, but. but all the events surrounding it. I think we have to look at it in its total context. Mm -hmm. The fact that the soldiers were routinely mistreated. Uh, the, the soldiers were dealing with discrimination on a daily basis. This was not just one one-off incident. And uh, while we don't know for sure, uh, the speculation is one of the soldiers had something. But, but, but there are things that are unprinted. And I think that sometimes we, it, we, we broad brush, but I think we understood that all the dynamics involved relates to the fact that discrimination and oppression was being experienced by all of those soldiers and the triggers, uh, 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 even to this day, we still don't know all of the triggers involved, but I, I do believe that all of those soldiers uh, deserve to be uh, receive clemency. Well, you know, that you've always been involved. With, before you were the president of NAACP, you've been involved in trying to fight on behalf of people who might have been wrong. Mm -hmm. You look at the climate during Camp, Camp Logan. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly, that helped lead to what happened. Um, so the men who were um, arrested and charged pretty quickly, taking the trial, um, what's your best hope for the outcome of the Camp Logan clemency efforts? Well, you think about the fact that it, it was really a botched trial to begin with. Uh, what we have the opportunity to do now is right the wrong in history on behalf of their, their, their families and their legacies. Uh, their, their lineages have been forever tarnished uh, by this American atrocity. And this is just one such case. And I think Camp Logan represents many cases across the country. And perhaps this begin, will begin a spiraling effect of other incidents surfacing across not just our, our state, but across the nation in which African Americans, particularly soldiers, even veterans, now say, so wow, th these are our brothers who were, who were unrightfully charged and indicted when they were the ones who were the victims of racism. And I think America owning that helps to heal America at the same time. We're thankful for South Texas School of Law, College of Law participating and partnering with us because it gives validation that this is not just a black concern, mm -hmm. it's an American concern. Bishop James Dixon II, thank you for this morning and your continued service to the community, which you've always done and will continue to do. Um, we appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you for having me always. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you.